Finally, after being delayed, I have the newest AMC The Walking Dead Supply Drop subscription mystery box. I got an email like a month ago saying that your box is delayed for pretty much a month because right now, a lot of these items I'm sure are sourced from manufactured ship from China and uh, you know, there's regulations now about what can come in and out of the country. So we got an email that this box is going to be delayed. But it got here, finally. I had several viewers from this channel actually hit me up and asked me, hey, where's your review? Where's your unboxing for the newest Walking Dead box like a month ago? I was like, you know what? They haven't even shipped yet for anybody, but they'll get her eventually. So the price of this box, it's like around, like, was it $56, I think it is? Close to about a $60 box every single month. And as of in 2020, actually starting late last year, every supply drop box will include an exclusive Funko Pop. So it can either be an exclusive Funko Pop, exclusive to the supply drop, or they say it could be a very early release Funko Pop, not available for sometimes months and months and months and months. So last time we got out, what was it? It, it was an alpha. It was a unmasked alpha Funko Pop. And just that pop by a lot of things selling for like 60, 70 bucks. So just the pop by itself paid for the entire box. And that's fantastic. And I know last year, maybe a year ago, they did uh, Shiva exclusive Funko Pop. And that thing was selling at one point for like 100 bucks a piece. I actually still have one of those left, actually. So here we go. I'll get into this. I'll quit yapping away all about this box. But I haven't really seen anybody really talk about this box except for you haven't. Authentic, or not authentic, an exclusive Funko Pop available. Man, that's tight. There we go. So right on top, we have the cheat sheet. I will put that aside. I don't want to see it. So here's the front of it. I, The back of it has all the stuff in it. So let's see. Let's feel around this thing, see what I can feel. So I can feel the Funko Pop. The Funko Pops, they come in like this cardboard, like a, uh, not protected, but like a, thing now to help protect it right on top here I feel this thing is very very thick it's either a sweatshirt or a hoodie pull the thing out first show the camera who do we got and we have so it is it is a sweatshirt hoodie or it's a hooded sweatshirt you know what I'm saying we have Michonne okay that's kind of cool um I know Michonne, her final episode on The Walking Dead, which aired, uh, of course, now probably, what, a month ago. Her send-off, I was not happy with it. Uh, the, the way that they had her leave the show. For anybody, obviously, who hasn't watched the show, that's some spoilers for you. But it's been publicized now for over a year that she was leaving the show this season. So it is not any kind of surprise. Nobody should be very upset that I just said that she left the show because... It's been advertised all over the news for over a year now that she's leaving the show. So anyway, Hoodie, I'm done done yapping. But yeah, I was very let down in how they wrote her off the TV show. I just, that episode was bad. Honestly, it was bad. Got your man size 3XL. Yeah, I mean, it's not a, not a bad, bad sweatshirt. Not bad. It's very soft. I like the feel of it. But yeah, I was, I don't know if you must feel the same way. But yeah, I was just, I was upset about how they wrote Miss Shone off the TV show. They should have done her more just. It, it wasn't, it wasn't her acting. It wasn't. I think she's a tremendous actor, actress. You know, it was her episode. It was, it was terrible. It was a terrible episode. It was really, really bad. It had to do with the writing of the actual people who wrote the, the episode. I thought so. I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. My my thoughts. So next item, we have a journal. We have a walker on the front of it. We didn't we just get a journal a couple weeks or a couple boxes ago? I think we did. We just got a journal. So we have another journal. Um, it's still factory sealed. The journal, I actually will sell this. Um, actually, I sold my last journal too. I think I sold it for like 15 bucks. So I can recoup about 15 bucks off of this thing, selling it online on like eBay or something. So okay. So if you want a journal, this box is a journal. Okay, go back in. I don't feel much in here. I feel the pop and maybe like an art print or something. That's all I feel. 
Okay, let's, let's do, I can't get out the art print without possibly bidding it because the Funko Pop's on top of it. We'll pull up, pull up the Funko Pop next. See what this thing looks, looks like. Um, well, it's a little bit damaged, I think. Um, so they, they packaged that thing damaged. Like this box is not damaged whatsoever. Um, so the damage isn't from the box. It got packaged damaged. So the bottom of it, of course the flap is very bent up, damaged here. Um, of course, you know, you can fold it back in and hide some of the damage. But yeah, I mean that, that thing, it, it, it is damaged. That's, that's kind of a let down. Uh, but anyway, we have the Walking Dead AMC flocked. This is Daryl Dixon's dog, dog. And yeah, kind of cool. Actually, I'm sure it probably sells for 40, 50 bucks, I bet. It probably does. Um, but yeah, mine does have a little bit of damage on it. So yeah, that is ultra disappointing. Um, especially whenever it got packed me, even like the cardboard case is damaged. So this was already damaged before they even packed the box. It was already damaged, so. That's that's kind of a that's that's kind of a bummer, because that's pretty much your bread and butter. The whole box is your Funko Pop. That's like what pays for the box. I feel one thing left. That is it. Okay, inside the box. So the last item we have in this box is the Walking Dead Season Nine Episode Fourteen Storyboard. So this is an authentic Walking Dead Supply Drop official storyboard replica. Just a storyboard replica with Michonne. Okay, it's, I mean, it's, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's kind of a collectible. I actually, I'll probably end up selling this. Um, I don't know. Oh, it's okay. It's, I mean, it, it is, it is kind of cool, but maybe if it was autographed by the actual artist who actually or I guess Mark Simon, maybe if he actually signed the print, that actually would have been even cooler. Or had somebody actually signed the print. But yeah, there's it's not signed by anybody. But I mean, it's, it's still pretty cool, though. If you're a collector of art prints, that's pretty cool. So uh, let's see the cheat sheet. There's the front. There's the cheat sheet. That's what we're looking at. Okay, so official, the Walking Dead hardcover journal. Um... You had a possibility of like four or five different code looks like. The Whisper Wars in full effect or full swing. So take note with these limited journals. You'll receive one of five designs. Michonne, Rick, Daryl, one of your favorite walkers. I got a walker. Would have rather had uh, Michonne, Rick, or Daryl. <laughs> I could have sold it for more money. Then uh, there's supposed to be a pin. A three circles pin. I didn't have a pin. Hold on. Make sure it's not stuck in the hoodie. No. Yeah, I don't have my pin. Um, so it's supposed to be a three circles pin. The three circles represents three different civilizations. Scan the QR code in the back of the pin and check out the latest trailer of The Walking Dead World Beyond. So the pin here in this photo, I am missing that from my box. It is not there. Michonne hoodie, anger makes you stupid, stupid gets you killed, rock this hoodie featuring Michonne, one of the fiercest survivors, and then the exclusive Funko Pop, and mine's damaged, exclusive, so, uh, for 60 bucks, I got a damaged Funko Pop, the bottom's crunched, and I'm missing my pen, so, okay, let's see some value, this hoodie is probably about 30 bucks, this is like the retail retail prices. Hoodies thirty bucks. Journal about fifteen. This pop retail price exclusive probably about fifteen bucks right here is thirty right there sixty. Then the art print. I don't know how to value this thing. Maybe fifteen twenty bucks. So here's about eighty dollars in value. Um, so there is more value than what I paid, but I am missing one of my items, and my Funko Pop is damaged. So. I'm actually going, I will be contacting the Walking Dead Supply Drop to ask to see if uh, they can replace my crunched Funko Pop. And where's my missing pin? So actually, I'll go downstairs right now. I will email them. And I actually, 
I have to wait several days and I'll do an update to this video here in the near future within a few days. Of course, you won't know a difference because it'll just be edited in, but so let me go downstairs, let me email them and I'll update the video. Small update to the video you just watched with the Walking Dead supply drop subscription box that you just saw. Um, so right after I filmed that, I filmed it, I think like 10 days ago, I think it was 10 or 12 days ago. And, uh, right after I got done filming it, I actually came downstairs into the office and I emailed them, uh, cause I went on the website, trying to figure out how I can reach out to them say, Hey, my pop came damaged. I'm missing an item from the box, you know? So I emailed them and it said they will respond within 48 hours. So I waited 48 hours, business day hours, no response. So on day number four, I think it was, I emailed the second time. And I said the same thing. Um, I have a subscription. I got the newest box. My Funko Pop is severely damaged. And I'm missing the monthly, uh, that pin, whatever it was. And I said, how can this be rectified to where at least I get the item that I'm missing? And preferably would like a non-damaged Funko Pop. And then... Yeah, that was like day number four after the first email. Emailed a second time. I waited, I think it's been 10 days total now. And uh, no response, no nothing. So I figured, you know what? I mean, they said they respond within 48 hours. So I figured, you know what? We're, we're in some times right now, time where everything's kind of slowed down. Businesses are slowing down. So I said, you know what? If they need, you know, two days, I'll give them 10. And no response, no nothing. So... I don't know how else to reach out to them, so I just got to chalk this up to really bad customer service. So, so that's the update to the box. Looks like I'll be stuck with the damaged Funko Pop, and I'll be missing an item from the box, and that's it. So, no response from them, no customer service, nothing, just whatever. But, I'm a YouTuber who does mystery boxes, subscription boxes, and all that good stuff, so... I mean, I'm going to keep my subscription going because it's been good so far. So this is my actual update. Zero customer service. Not happy with that, but I'm going to keep subscribing just because you can't judge them on just one bad apple, but you can say their customer service is bad. So I'll see you next time. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Out.